All right, in this tutorial, we're going to dive deeper into audio sweetening and enhancing and unifying a little bit of our tracks. Before we start, I wanna take a look at this. This right here is uh, Dune 2, really good movie that just came out. Um, and this is the actual editing track of everything for audio. Look at these tracks. Look at how many pieces that we have in here. So. What you can see is some of them are really long. Some of them are very short. These are gonna be sound effects, but there's also sound effects that will go over the entire thing, ambient noise, and unify our track. So let's see how we do that. Come over here, and this looks all great. We have some rustling of the paper, for instance. Now, we have some music playing, and then it immediately goes into this track right here, right? So this, this is a common mistake for uh, new editors is that you, you hear stuff like this, all these hard cuts. What we're going to do is isolate the parts that the, only the parts that we need and the rest is gonna be covered by room tone or ambient sound. You can find these on in Pixabay. If you search, for instance, for sound effects, you can find ambient noise. Now it's kind of weird. If you listen to it, it's really nothing, but that's gonna make the, diff the, the world of difference to combine and unify all of our visuals so we're hearing something consistently. So we're gonna download this and we're going to put it into our, uh, into our audio folder. And after it's in our audio folder, we're going to import it into Premiere Pro. Now we have two minutes of just this room tone. So I'm going to put this as a new track. One thing that we haven't talked about, but it's always a good practice, always have tracks on different things. So for instance, these are some, of, this is my audio tracks right here. These are my, this is my actual soundtrack. This is room tone and just have them on distinct uh, channels. You can also right click label and have these different colors and that will help you too. So just by doing this and if we listen to it now, there's going to be a little bit more of a unified approach to this. And let's take a look at that again. But we still hear this part. Now, this is the nice part. So now we're gonna isolate these tracks. So for instance, I like this rustling the paper. That's really good. So we're rustling in the papers. You're hearing a little bit in the background, but what we can do here is we can take this audio track and only use the part that we want. So. We hear a little bit of that music, so we're gonna take that part out right there. Um, we might even be able to find sound effects of rustling to amplify this. But now when it drops out, it has this nice track. So you can do a couple of things to this track. You can bring this track up and down. If you double click in this negative space to the right of this, don't click on this because it's a voiceover recording. This is gonna bring, expand the audio track. Once you expand the audio track, you can use the pen tool or you can press the P key on the keyboard to bring this track to make points by left clicking and bring these tracks up and down according to where you need them. So I just brought this up a little bit in decibels. And I'm also going to look up audio transitions and find a constant power. And I'm gonna put that on this clip so it doesn't sound V key is go back to selection plus sign in and I'm going to drag this a little bit less so that's not going to be an abrupt ending this is you, you kind of want some constant um, fades on things so it doesn't sound super abrupt when it ends but now we have and we would fill that we'd fill in that with uh, we can experiment with how actually loud this is we can even if we wanted to make take our P key make our pen tool right here and then bring these down so now we have a lessening of everything all that makes up
And so you go in, first you add your kind of room tone where you need it on a track. You isolate the actual times. So for instance, if there was times where only you're hearing uh, dialogue, you don't need that background because the room tone is going to be filling it. You can also mute tracks temporarily by going like this. This could be a whole entire thing. So if we have, for instance, this to here, we only need this backpack. So I'm going to right click, unlink. I don't, C tool is cut, V tool is select, right click, unlink, and I don't need both of those parts. So now I get that nice room tone under it, nothing distracting, unified. Man, I knew that test was gonna be hard. And then we go in through here. So biggest thing is find ambient noise that will unify the entire thing. Isolate your dialogue, use your transitions, and use the pen tool to start to sweeten things, blend things together, and make it sound not so abrupt.